It's the wall of doom. Look at that. Okay, so I've got to make good with this wall. Small and it's broken down. I'm gonna do some of the steps as well. So first I've obviously got to put some bricks on, build it up to that level, fall it round, and then I can start rendering it. Not only that, but the wall's all over the place. So I need to bring the middle out because it comes right in. So I've got a lot to do really. A lot of it's in the prep, so what I'm gonna do is dust the top off, get all that away, and then we're gonna start fixing these bricks down. Definitely not bricky, so don't take the piss. <laughs> Now I told you I wasn't a bricklayer, that wasn't the best thing in the world, but since I'm rendering, I'm going to make it right. So I'm just threw a few bit bricks on to bring it roughly where I need it. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you something mad. It's got a mad belly and I'm going to have to show you what we're going to do with it. If we're looking at the wall, that's a gap we've got in the middle to flatten it out. Now I'm not saying it's going to be level, I'm not even going to say it's going to be plumb, but I've got to bring it out from that. So. What we're going to have to do, we're going to have to prep the brickwork. We're going to have to get a decent scratch coat on, just in the middle before we even start doing anything else. Just going to wet the bricks up a bit. Water, water brush. Get ready for a first coat of render. Now get a bit of mix on. I'm going to throw a mix of four to one. Build it out, I'm gonna crack on. Now the best way to build up render isn't by applying it, it's by throwing it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a dust sheet on the floor because it's gonna get messy. Now what you do, you leave it. You let it dry, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna rule it off so it's kind of flat. So leave it, don't play with it, and then we're gonna mess about with it. What we've got now is a bit closer, the gaps in the middle has definitely been pushed out so that ends that end. And see, we've definitely got the thickness on there now, so we can start scratching it properly, we've got to wait for it to dry though. Um, but yeah, we've got something to work with now. So we've got to do, make sure you always scratch your render. So when we put another coat on, it can stick to it. If you don't, you put your render on, it'll just fall off. So I always put a mechanical key, in this case, scratch. Okay, so the scratch was done the other day. We've not used any beads. Today we're gonna to finish it. It's five to one. That's what we've got the mix going on at. Half line. I'm gonna show you how to do it.
Now what we're going to do is try and get this top edge here. Just cut it back. Keep the gear. literally just cut the render and then tilt pull away there's that edge there's front edge and we'll keep going It's all good getting a render on, but look at the size of that middle step. It's massive. So, this is actually my house. I'm just patching in. So I'm just showing you some rendering, what it's to do like, without using any beads. So, ignore the size of that middle step. There's nothing we could do about that. I didn't build it. I'm just rendering it in. So, just got to deal with that as it is. It's a beast. Check it. So that's level. Check that. That's level. Check the floor. Aye. <laughs> so it's all good getting it level and straight, but if the floor's out, it's just going to make it look weird. But anyway, that's that bit done. Wait for it to dry and then flow it up. So the weather forecast said. No rain today, so I'll come in tomorrow. 
No, it's raining. <laughs> Let's hope it don't mess out. It's only a little bit. But yeah, gotta wait for that to pass before we do anything. What a nightmare. So I have got a new float. It's a Rafina Diamondback float. I've had a quick go on it, but today's not the day for it. We're gonna be sticking with the old girl here. Look at her, she's on her way out. That is looking thin, but it's the best float ever. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick to the old girl today. You're not gonna see the Rafina in action, I'm afraid. It's not gonna happen, not today. So, drink brew, wait for this rain to go, and we'll crack on. Next thing's flowing. Nice rain, nice, nice, nice. Blue skies over there, can't be long now, can it? It's downpour. It's just livening the render up, that's all it's doing. <laughs> Look at it go. Wish weather, eh? Good luck for anyone else who's living in a drier country. I've had to shoot the bastard up. And just like that, the sun came out. What a bipolar day. It's like being in Melbourne. For all the Aussies out there, four seasons in a day. Right, so we're gonna float it now. Let's do it.
that's it. All the angles done, sponged, floated. And that's how you form your own angles using nothing but straight edges and a float. You can see the top comes all the way around. Happy days. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And um, yeah, feel free to leave any comments below. And thank you so much. Cheers. Bloody weather.